from uh, Nevada where you were playing a lot. Have you had to show a lot of patience over the last year or so before you finally found your, your place on this team? Uh, a little bit. I mean, last year I definitely think I had a place as like kind of the sixth man rotating through a lot. I had some starts and played in most every game last year. So I definitely had a place, but um, definitely took some patience because, you know, I think everybody wants to be a starter and play, you know, starting every game, playing in every game. So um, definitely took some patience to get to there. But I think last year I was just kind of, I knew my role. And so I was excited to just try and help the team get wins. And then this year I'm excited for, you know, maybe a little bit bigger role and keep same goal, keep trying to win games. So I'm excited. How have you kind of been able to help some of the other guys around you along as fall camp continues? Um, I think just kind of throughout my college career, I've had a lot of different coaching staffs and stuff. So I've heard different things explained a lot of different ways. So I think especially for these young guys, I can kind of help relate messages to them just like a little more simpler than sometimes like the college terminology that coaches will use to kind of get their heads spinning and just being able to have had so many coaches and know like what coaches are trying to say. I can just kind of help those young guys put it in simpler terms, help bringing them along. And then this, for the even some of the older guys too, like that haven't been in this system and stuff before, I can try and help them, you know, just be the best collective group we can. Yeah, how would you assess kind of like assess where you are right now, like between where you were in spring and then where you want to be kind of at the beginning of the season? Do you feel like everyone pretty much has the scheme down? Now you guys are just working on technique. Do you still feel like they're still nailing some of that playbook and scheme down? Yeah, you... I think I think we're doing a really good job. We um, got most of our install and stuff in. So we're really just trying to hammer down all the assignment, all the technique. Um, guys have been doing really good carrying over the stuff from the spring so what hasn't haven't had to rebuild up too much everyone's just kind of been hitting the ground running over the fall so i think it's been good um yeah i think everybody's getting along well we're just trying to tighten up on technique and then just the more specific details that we can the group of guys that you tend to be out there with um how you feel like you're coming together as a group starting to work together i think we're all doing really good together i think the whole line room we're all really pretty tight knit we all like hang out and stuff outside of football we get together and um like during fall camp you know we got breaks during the day we all get together in the online room just hang out do our own thing go up we eat meals together so i think we are all really tight um throughout the whole line group too not even just the ones twos or whatever just i think everyone is really tight we all got a really good um, relationship going on and that definitely helps coming out here every day jacob has been next to you a lot on, on that right side of the line what, what do you see him coming up as a as a younger lineman and, and how are you trying to help him out um i think He's got, you know, a lot of potential, a lot of really good stuff he can do. I'm just trying to think with everybody, just offer them as much, you know, help as I can. If I see something, help bring them along. Or I try to be as open as I can for guys that want to come and ask questions. Like I try and st stay with guys and if they need help, draw some out for them or just explain it to them. So I think for um, everybody, just I, I try to be as available and open as I can to helping everybody come along. What's the, uh, for an offensive lineman, what is the difference between the offense you played last year and this one? Is it is it much different for you, or, or is it just, you, 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 it's, you're just an offensive lineman blocking and, and doing the things you would normally do? Yeah, for, I mean, um, scheme-wise, maybe there's a couple things here and there that are a little different. Obviously, you know, different coaches are going to all have their own um, different things, but also at the end of the day, there's only so many plays, so, you know, things might have a little bit different name or a little bit of variation but like it's pretty much the same as from stuff i've seen like i think this is maybe a line coach four or five for me now so i've heard so many different things called so many different things that i have a pretty easy time relating it in my own brain to kind of figuring out what's going on so i haven't had um too much of a trouble there's definitely some differences in the stuff we're doing um just as far as you know some of the new faces we got in new guys we got and then the new coaching staff as well but um i would say overall it hasn't been too different or too hard for the O-line especially. We've been able to um, try and translate a lot of things and then there's been some new stuff Coach Devan's brought in, but it's all been really good and really helpful. So we're it's coming still, It's good. still just go find guy, block guy. Not yeah, at the end of the day, yeah, it's just about communicating, everybody getting on the same page and all working together. Something we say a lot is like, if we're all wrong, we're all right. So, you know, as long as we're all on the same page, it really doesn't matter. So that's what kind of what we've been working on. Does being in the gun all the time change anything for you? Um, for me personally, I don't really notice too much of a difference. I know for the centers, that's kind of, they might notice a difference having someone under center versus behind them. Um, for me, I just, I don't really pay too much attention to the gun under center. Um, I just try and get our play call and execute as, as good as I can. Talked to uh, Josh last week, you know, he's playing a lot of different positions, you know, trying a lot of things out. How have you seen him 
handle that and just how difficult maybe it is that at this point as a veteran to, you know, try a bunch of different things and, you know, try and fit in different positions, I guess. I think Josh is doing a really good job. I mean, he's by far the most experienced, oldest guy we have on the O-line. And, I mean, he's an absolute monster. Like, I got – he's doing a great job at guard. I think it's – hasn't been too much of a challenge for him he's really smart so i mean knowing the place he hasn't really had a problem he's strong he's athletic so he's he's doing really good making the transition and he was even running some center today like he's really versatile really athletic so i mean that's really all you got to say about him he's a, he's really good you mentioned you had a lot of coaches throughout your time one of them being your dad he's a high school coach yep. he was here on saturday yeah what's that dynamic like how, how does he split father versus coach um well when i was in high school it was it wasn't too hard he wasn't like my position coach or anything just head coach um but like now he's just like my one of my biggest supporters like he comes out to practices i talk to him all the time i try and call him and my mom every day if i can or as often as i can and just um they just like getting filled in on what's going on he was he played college football as well so like he understands a little bit of the grind and stuff so i'll talk to him about that stuff but um they're just, you know, really big supporters, and it's awesome. Like, it's really cool for me to be able to have him out here and say hi to him after practice and see him on the weekends and stuff. So he's just, yeah, number one supporter. Him and my mom are just, they're the best. What is the O-line's relationship like with the quarterbacks, and why is it important to kind of develop that trust throughout fall camp heading into the season? I think we definitely have good relationships with the quarterbacks. I try and talk to them as much as I can, especially about stuff. Um, it is really important, especially, like I said earlier, about being on the same page. The quarterbacks and the running backs, they're a huge part of that with us as well as far as protections and even in the run game. Like, So we got to communicate with them as well as ourselves and you know, talking with them off the field, talking with them after practice, making sure we're all on the same page there. And then when we're on the field, making sure we're all on the same page then as well. Um, just the more communication, the better you can build your relationships at all. I think it all helps no matter where you are. So. Um, it's been really good talking with the guys, Ben, Vani, Jabari, and all those guys. Um, good dudes, they're all working hard too, just like the O-line is working. So we're all trying to get on the same page and be really good.